Hi everyone, I'm Nick Vischer. I am the Audience Research and Evaluation Manager at Denver Zoo. And I wanted to share with you another trick that I recently learned um, that has really solved something that has bothered me for a long time. And that is when I'm directly labeling my line charts, I often want to put in the series name next to the data value. Um, on, for instance, the final, uh, the final piece of the line, but it never ordered correctly in my mind. And I'm gonna show you what I mean in just a second here. So you can see what the line chart looks like here. This is um, something that we use to record our attendance every month. I'm sure you use something similar. But I already got rid of the default legend because we know we don't like that. I labeled my first point of data right here, so 72,000 people in January. And I want to label my last point. So I'm going to go ahead and do that like we normally would. So I'll just double click the marker to select only this marker. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to add data label. So there we go. So my data label popped up there, 174,000 people. But what if I want to add the series name inside this data label so that people will know that this means that the line represents attendance? So I can do that, but if I highlight the data label here and push Control-1, that will automatically open up the Format Data Label tools here. You could also just right click and go to Format Data Label. Um, you can see right here that the value is selected. The value box is selected under Label Options, so it's telling me that uh, the actual data value is there. And then none of these, the category name and the series name boxes are not selected. So if I select series name, that will put in my, my series name, attendance. So you can see right here that it looks pretty good, but something, the order is wrong to me. I want the 174,000 to be on the left and I want the attendance to be on the right. I want the data to be as close to the data marker to the line as possible. So I used to just delete this and put a text box in in the order that I that I needed because I could never figure out how to do it. But I just Googled a lot and I finally found the answer. So what you wanna do is highlight the, um, the data label here. And then once it's highlighted, you're gonna double click the series name or the first uh, item that's right here. So double click here. And then this drop down menu appears and it's asking you what you want to swap out for attendance. So I want to put value there instead of attendance. So I'm going to click on value and there's my value. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to double click and I want my series name to be on this side. And there you go. Now that is a perfectly directly labeled line chart. Uh, I hope that you will follow me on Twitter at Nick V's PPT or Nick versus PowerPoint. Thanks for letting me share this tip with you.